If anyone knows about um, how to plant bee food uh, that won't cost anything that I could use other um, you know plants for example I'm trying with clover um, let me know because I'll keep my eyes open you know I'm going to be planting um, Japanese radish uh, they pod I don't know if you know if you know that but actually radish Japanese radish daikon is actually a pea um, there it's a pod right uh, I didn't know that until I'm there looking around and see this white flower and I'm talking to a Japanese woman or trying to and she's like oh it's daikon it's like huh it's pods so and I noticed um, one of my uh, yellow plants and I'm realizing now there's multiple kinds of this yellow flower and one of them actually becomes um, a, a, some sort of radish um, my wife was also telling me you can eat the flowers uh, kind of like a lettuce so um, I've basically picked up and planted I saw my video a bunch of um, clover flowers now from what I you know I, I've been looking 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 I can't find any information on on the clover uh, seed cycle so if you can find it but I believe in my reading, what I understand is that basically clover produces a soft seed. And that soft seed basically is at the base of the flower. And what I've noticed too is that clover really kind of spreads where the flower is. So if you've got some clover and then it flowers and it drop and then the seed drops down, it keeps growing and spreading, flowing and spreading, right? Because I have clover all over, no one's planted clover seed around here. So the only way I can see it you know spreading is basically with the flower dropping in its seeding so what I've done is grabbed a whole bunch of clover and see clover is in bloom right now and I'm trying to basically have a cycle of continual bloom for the bees so that's the goal right so I've got the the first cycle that I planted is yellow what I call the I don't know what they are I need to figure out their name so I don't you know I can tell people but the first cycle is the first, and it's the earliest bloomer in Japan, is this yellow flower, which I know bees are all over because I've seen it. And, um, and also the beekeeper told me, yeah, bees are fine with that. So that's the first one, and that would get them through. Then the second one would actually be kind of the daikon flower, right? The, the, the radishes, Japanese radish. The other good thing is that by growing radishes they're breaking up the soil right they put the roots in so something called um, cover crop so I'm doing kind of a cover crop system um, and um, then obviously the clover and by then also the dandelions and stuff are coming through I mean right now it's in full bloom dandelions there's a lot of that and I'd like to get more of that growing um, too so if I, I I know where there's a big patch of dandelions I'm gonna go there and wait for them to seed and then go on there and just collect all the seed I've actually carrying black trash bags these are these 35 gallon bags that I got in the States I'm carrying like four of them now just for the opportunity next time I go by like right now it's raining but what I'll do is when I have 10 minutes I'll fill up a bag so I want to grab as much of this flowering clover um, and I don't know how it's being germinated out there I guess there's you know, I didn't see any bees out there today when I was there. Um, I don't have time now, but you know, it's on my way to work, and I can just stop and fill up a you know, a 35 gallon bag worth of clover flowers, and then go to the farm and just throw them out on the you know, full, throw them out all over the place. So I've done the bee farm. I want to do across the other section, um, and um, you know, and just do it. And I'll let you, we'll find out next year if it works or not. I mean, it's just a little bit of time on my, for me, and if it works, great, right? Um, here's where I get the clover, right here. I'm passing it right now. If I had time, I'd stop and do it. Maybe on my way home tonight, I'll if it stop raining. But it's chocker block full, and I've got a red light so you can see it. Look at all that clover. All that's clover in there. How the hell? No one planted that clover. That clover is basically plant is basically spread itself. There's no one farming clover here. So that's just a that's just a vacant lot. It was a building there. They took it down, and that clover is just spread like you wouldn't believe. 
um, and uh, all by itself. So how is it doing it? Obviously, it's seeding itself, right? So if it's seeding itself, then I should be able to grab the clover and seed other places. It's just, it's, it's simple. Um, trying to think of other stuff I can talk about. So the, the main point here is that, you know, you, if you want to like help the bees, you don't need to go out and buy a bunch of seed. If you see a field of wild clover, just grab a bunch and seed it, help seed it, you know? The thing is, helping bees is pointless unless you actually have bees right so either start raising solitary bees solitary bees don't sting um, or very 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 rarely you can order some of those um, you know there are people who are selling them and um, I want to raise them but I've been able to this year I tried I couldn't get them going I think I may order some this fall and um, and then I'll have my own, I'm gonna put them out of the bee farm and have my own solitary bees out there doing their thing too. So I wanna be raising uh, social bees and solitary bees. There's only two types of bees, they're social and solitary. Um, bumblebees fall under the social bees, if you're, if you don't know. Um, I'm not sure what carpenter bees, if carpenter bees are social or solitary. I think they're kind of social. I think there's, I think they share I think the male ones go back and to the, I think they're, they're social. Solitary bees basically are all, or by themselves, they go out, they build their nests, they lay their eggs, right, they're, or their they're, uh, cocoons, and they don't have any help, right, doing it. So there's no excuse why, and I, and I would strongly recommend that you get into uh, solitary bees, not social bees. Social bees, there's a lot of problems with social bees. Um, you know, the only reason I'm getting into because I'm doing it as a startup too for, you know, for business. So, um, I'm jumping in it because, you know, I want to have something for my kids to leave, you know, leave them and, and, uh, and I just want to do a different kind of startup, one that I can have full control over without, um, without relying on investors. So can just do it myself a little bit at a time grow grow up the business for the next 20 years I'm 40 so I can spend the next 40 years doing my beekeeping business um, and uh, you know pass it on to my sons then hopefully they'll want to do it so um, you know my big thing is I don't have any money and how do I do this stuff basically without money because Ultimately, what I'm going to do is duplicate um, and probably write a book on it, you know, beekeeping with no money. And, um, you know, to teach others how to do it themselves, how I did it. So just living it by doing it. <sighs> but I'm enjoying it. My hands are, I mean, my, my I'm getting I'm getting some exercise it's uh, you know it's been good ever since I've gone back to teaching my wife has been off my back now that she knows I have a regular salary coming in and um, pressure off her pressure off me so our relationships better um, so it's all good 